Um, hello. I've got a new microphone, so I'm not sure what the quality of this video is going to be like. So, um, this is to test my microphone out more than anything else. I'm going to be using some very basic geometry pad though, because it's there. There's no calculus, no vectors, nothing complicated. Some very, very simple algebra and geometry to do it. So, Pythagoras theorem states that the hypotenuse, the longest side of a right angle triangle squ um, squared, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So, um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared is how it's often quoted. So, this figure I've got four equivalent right angle triangles. I label the shorter side A, the second shorter side B. So, this this whole side in, in red to make it to make it clear what I'm referring to. So, this whole thing's B. And, um, the hypotenuse, the longest side is the C. So, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Okay. Now, to the, or I'm going to use this shape to simply form a relationship between the variables a, b, and c. Uh, very simple. Um, c squared, we can see, is the um, is is um, equal to the area of the of the big square. So I've written c squared here. Um, if we take away the little square in the middle. Then we're left with the if we take the, take the area of the little square away from the area of the big square, we're left with the area of four right angle triangles. So the, the equation for the, um, for the area of the little square is equal to b minus a because because these triangles are equivalent. So b minus a um, is, is the length of one of the sides of the square. So b minus a squared is the area of, of this whole square. So I've got c squared minus in brackets b minus a squared is equal to the area of the four right angle triangles and the over triangles is a b over two and the swap and so four a b over two. Okay. So now um, I've simplified I've simplified the right hand side down to two a b. That's just simple um, numeracy. Um, and then I've expanded and I've expanded out this bracket here. So b minus a squared is equivalent to b squared minus two a b plus a squared. And I've kept all this in, in, in a bracket so that um, because of this um, negative on the outside, so I want to keep I want to keep that separate just to keep it all to keep everything nicely together. So um, that's in the brackets there, um, and then if, and then if we expand out this bracket, so we multiply everything in the bracket by negative one, we we'll end up with c squared minus b squared plus two ab minus a squared because I'm multiplying everything through by a negative. Notice that on the right hand side we've got an equivalent term two ab on both sides, so we take away those. Um, two terms, we end up with this: c squared minus b squared minus a squared equals naught, which simply, which very simply rearranges so the relation that we're, to the theorem that we're trying to prove. Pythagoras is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. 